Hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy as we join Michael Magus in the main dining hall. Seems there's a bit of a feast going on with all the students right now. I'm not sure if this happens daily, but it's the first time I've seen it. Really cool to see the candles floating over the area. You may notice a flu flame on the far end of this room. I've been going across the entirety of the castle gathering all of them that I can. There are some that are still locked behind doors. I don't have all of them yet, but we should be able to get across the castle very easily. The ceiling of the Great Hall has been bewitched to mimic the sky above the castle. Is that true? Is it super cloudy outside? Keep going. I can do this walking backwards. Yep. Yep, that definitely looks like the same sky up there. Good job, wizards. <laughs> like, I expected it not to look to sell. Like, come on, you can't mess up on that detail. They have to get that right. Bye. We're going to begin today's session by talking to a painting in the Hufflepuff common room. It's a painting that houses Eldritch Diggory inside, presumably a relative to Cedric Diggory. I, who names their baby Eldritch? Like, is there any other Eldritch than the Eldritch Horrors? What did you expect your child to do? Anyway, uh, this is them. <clears throat> Hello. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Eldritch Diggory. Former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your side. Oh, that's pretty cool, I actually. You can help solve a decades old murder. Yes! Thanks to that book you found, and in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. I'll give it my best shot. Is this a quest that's only available to Hufflepuffs? Or would this show up in all of the common rooms? I'm actually so interested in the dynamics of the game that are tied to your household. So if you guys can give us any insight to that down in the comments, that would be awesome. The murder does sound intriguing. Can you tell me anything else about it, Eldritch? This could be right up my street. Even we Hufflepuffs enjoy a good mystery. What was that, Here Michael? Up to the challenge. Plus, I believe you'll benefit from this undertaking. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? Yes, I think you should. I will... Actually, I do want to know more. Um, when were you the minister? When were you the minister for magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, to be precise. The stories I could tell you... Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. Oh. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. It's interesting that... People can live on in paintings for presumably a very long time. Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but it's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. <laughs> you just need to stroke your ego a little bit, it sounds like. How are these pages going to help her? Do they have clues specifically on them? Were they ripped from a book that houses the full story? How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, I'll head there directly. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, 
Both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. Lumos. It's not fair that everyone in this school is faster than me. Oh, I came across a cool detail of this school I want to show you guys. We're just above the Hufflepuff common room. This is the big spiral staircase. And I think that witch statue that we lower is right over there to get into the back of Honeydukes. Well, if you go east along this staircase, you actually see the point system for all of the houses. These should fill up as classes progress. Revelio. Accio. These large ornate hourglasses contain rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds, and are enchanted to keep count of house points for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin, respectively. Yes, I knew that's what they were. They have those in Orlando, too, as you're walking into the Hogwarts castle. Lumos. Thought you guys would enjoy seeing that. I was expecting to see a little bit more progress on, you know, us getting points or points being deducted, but it is still pretty early in the school year, after all. Maybe more of that will happen as we go. Last episode, I think we stopped and looked at this very same building because it had a stunning sunset behind it. And it's just as gorgeous, lit up at night. Looks like our quest is actually pretty far away. 1,088 wizard units in that direction. So we are going to be venturing outside of the castle walls yet again. Wow, it actually looks like this place is even further away than Hogsmeade. This is officially going to be the furthest I've been away from the castle, I think. Even though we did take that little trip to the south. Well, it looks like there's a whole little village over here. When we get to the flu flame, it'll probably tell us the name of it. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Mm, where is here? He may have told me, and it just slipped through the cracks. Hogsfield! Okay. Creative name. Yes. Doug Bog Warnings. Warning. Doug Bog Sighting. Be careful. Wow. Very helpful information there. I remember <clears throat> being very young, and my, I was in the car with my grandma, and she forgot something in the house. And she wanted me to go inside and get it. And I was like, well, where is it? She said, over yonder. What does that mean? That didn't help anything. Accio. Pumpkin Fizz. Pumpkin Fizz is a fashionable carbonated drink with a pumpkin flavor. It has yet to become as popular as butter beer, but one never knows. They do sell pumpkin juice in Orlando, but it's not carbonated. It's not fizzy. And it's way too sweet. I can only have a couple sips of it. This place had a scroll marker on it, which is why I stopped by. But it Rebellion. seems that that scroll was not the only thing. Are you? Is this like air conditioning? Are you cooling off, bro? <laughs> Wish I had that spell in Orlando. Peace. There are a few side quests in town, too. We might be able to do a lot to help out this little village. That would feel good. Before we dive into any of those, though, I'm going to talk to Helen. She's just inside this home here. The door's not locked or anything, right? Nope. Here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Wait, how does that work? How do you go between paintings that aren't in the same physical location? Is there a like a mirror dimension for for paint for paintings? Okay, don't don't read into the magic too much. That's breaking my brain a little bit. I literally stared off into the screen and lost myself for a moment. A letter from Eddie Thistlewood. I probably shouldn't read that directly in front of her, but here we are. Dear sister, it has been some time since we've heard from you. How are things in the ministry? We continue to think of you and hope that you are doing well. You'll be happy to know that we've all made our peace with your decision to become an auror. Oh, as dangerous as it is. You must live your life and follow your path. You are doing so in the service of the wizarding world, and I'm proud to call you sister. That's such a weird way of saying that. We've, we've made peace with this decision. It's like they all hated it. 
I must inform you of something that you may find curious. It seems a troll has taken up residence in a train tunnel near town. The poor thing's most certain to learn a tragic lesson about a fundamental velocity of locomotives. Right soon, Eddie Thistlewood. There's a poor troll stuck in a train track? Can we go help that? Did that, like, update my map or anything? Hello, Helen. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very right. well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. That's what I was she just thinking. She never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now. But after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust. And she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. Am I going to be going to Azkaban? Exactly. I'm not sure I want to visit that. The reason she's a shell of her former self is because she's guarded by dementors that feed on the joy and happiness in her life. Um, yeah. Not sure if I want to do that. I'd rather not go to Azkaban. Is there no other way to help? I fear not. She cannot leave. And a student like you may provide the impetus she needs to save herself. <laughs> I don't know I what impetus means. A measure if I did not feel it was necessary. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Well, okay. I mean, when you put it that way, that 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 doesn't that doesn't sound as bad. Uh, you said his ghost just disappeared immediately. Did it not? It didn't know it was dead either. I wonder why it faded. Can you actually give any insight into that? You said Jackdaw's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. Well, okay. Let's go. Let's get this over with. Apparate me there. Do not leave me. Do you know the Patronus charm? Because I don't. This is my second day of school, I think. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Splinched? Do take care now. <laughs> and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Okay, looks like I want to throw up a little bit. Was that my first time apparating? Oh, no. No, no, no. Expecto Patron! Ah! You got a buddy! That 
that ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. Is that, is that going to interfere with my normal despair? But we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Mind your step. Yeah, I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Mind my step. Nasty dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them There's off. There's another one. There's no need for such monsters. What happens if I just stay here? Does it come towards me? I want to tell you a story. There's a little quiz you can take to see what your Patronus animal may be. A lot of you know I was crazy sick as a kid. I have a sinus disease, had a ton of surgeries. When I took the Patronus char uh, charm test, my animal was a deer hound because of its keen sense of smell. And I just assumed it was to guide me in places like this. Kind of funny how the world works, isn't it? <clears throat> All right, uh, right this way. I will say, I think the Dementors in the movie looked way cooler. This guy's just kind of flapping his wings up there. Like he's a raven who lost too many feathers. He's been here a lot longer than the rest of us. Careful around Ant. Who said that? How do you know what I'm here for? If I had my wand, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you. Could you teach me that? It kind of sounds like someone's already using it on you. She spoke very clearly for a person. Wiggling on the ground. Hello? I'm not trying to scare anyone. What is that I hear? Perhaps death in all its mercy oh, approaches. No one at school is going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? Oh, I'm a student goodness. from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would lose. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hoggy Field. There must be a cave north of Hoggy Field. So she speaks in rhymes because her brain, that's, maybe that's the only way she can process something. Okay. We, we were told to be respectful and patient. So I think I understand. Thank you. Bro, even if we exonerate her, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? If you get false imprisoned, you know, you might be, you could have a lawsuit for potentially millions of dollars. Could you imagine spending your entire life in Escaban and being tormented? Being broken into this? And then just one day being like, all right, you're good. Yep. Yeah. Guess it wasn't you. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave? near Upper Hogsfield. Hogs, Hogs, field, field, ruins house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen, Helen, now you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? Whoa! What? Ha what was that? <laughs> oh God, man, that's creepy. You're hurt. Go the cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get. <laughs> help or did you mean to apparate maybe she was just thinking but about the thistlewood i all right i'll find it uh, i'll you... find jackdaw's cave do you think um <laughs> the creature appearing that you could only see if you've seen death is significant for what we just witnessed i don't know 
might be significant. They could just be flying around. Silly little things. Most people can't even see them anyway. Well, I was wondering if this was going to be like an explore the entire area around here and see what you can find. Or if it would be a quest marker that leads me right to where we need to go. I can't believe it. It's a Lewis. cave. <laughs> this must be the place Anne told me about. No, dude. No one's been here for ages. Uh, can we verify that? Because there's literally a fire. Lewis. Michael, there's a fire right there. How are you trying to say no one's been here? Come on. You can't pretend to be smart sometimes and then not pick up on basic perception. I think I just hit an alarm trap. I, I think I think I walked it it sounded like a tin can or something. Oh lord. Uh okay. Lots of different things that I can pull. No, that's not it. That's not it. That one was though? Is it one from each thing? So... Lumos. Akio. It's no wonder I never found that clue. No wonder you never found that clue. So that stayed there. And that stayed there. No. Hmm. How did you do this, Jackdaw? Oh, that's done something. Well, by sheer process of elimination, I've completed this side. Lumos. What is the clue for that? Is it just these things moving in the middle? No, because they don't seem to move Lumos. all at once. So what in here would have told me that that was Revelio. the answer? Uh, we have a little bit of loot there. I can't get under Accio. this. Can I Accio it to me? Oh, it looks like we just broke it down. Come on, get the treasure, Michael. That's right. Another healing potion. Revelio. Lord knows we can't make those. Oh, also a little bit of gold left in here as well. I have literally no idea how I was supposed to find the solution for this. Uh, I'm just going to brute force the other side, too. It can't be that hard. I wonder if it's the opposite of what's there. So that one. No, that's not it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That one, that one, and that one. You couldn't outwit me, Jackdaw. You couldn't outwit me, Jackdaw. Well, uh. Revelio. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say this place has already been cleared out. My dearest Anne, well done. You solved my puzzle. I knew you were a kindred spirit and the only one with whom I could truly share my adventures. Meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest. As soon as you can. Was this guy just waiting there for 40 years? 80 years? However many years it's been. Was his plan to just wait out there for weeks until she solved this puzzle initially? There's no tell telling where it will lead us. I found it on pages that Peeves ripped from a secret book. And no one else seems to be able to find. I haven't any idea what lies ahead. But I am glad to know I shall share my future with you. This is only the beginning. That's so sad. Richard. Yes, I am terribly glad you found this. As I would have gone on alone if you did not. And what fun would that be? Guess I answered my own question. Needed to read more. A note from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? Well, he probably went into the Forbidden Forest like he shouldn't to. have. I wonder if I'm going to head off to the Forbidden Forest now. That would be pretty cool. Whoa! Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. Hey, bud. Hey, Richard Jackdaw. I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves. And then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. It was not. Dare I ask? 
How is she? She is very, very bad. Uh, not well, I'm afraid, would be probably the nicest way ever to put it. I think that's how I would put it, though, if I was in a situation. I definitely wouldn't accuse this guy of ruining her life. Although, you know, it wasn't on purpose. Intent matters a lot to me. So, <clears throat> uh, she's not well. She may have slit my friend's throat just a minute ago with some poison shit. Uh, and she cackles. Did she, did she cackle when you knew her? She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Yep. Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been travelling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. Oh, yes! That sounds more like it. How'd you lose your head, though? Should I be worried about that? If you don't mind me asking... How did you lose your head? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Wait a minute, was it that guy back in town? That had air conditioning? Was he the murderer? This entire time? Thanks for the warning. I knew that guy was so suspicious. I'll see you at the Forbidden Forest right away. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. Well, this is the entrance to the Forbidden Forest. But unfortunately, it looks like I won't be able to complete this quest until I learn a few more spells. Means we're gonna have to hit the books pretty hard. No, this is forbidden, but we have already come this far, right? Oh, uh, can I make any sense of this sign? Frog sold here. Caution centaurs. A uh, dangerous Ministry of Magic posting. Uh, I can't read that one. And Forbidden Forest. This way. Well, I mean, there's some some birds. Wait, what was that? What's this guy shooting at? There is some kind of creature here, as well as a poacher on the other side. Oh, I couldn't pull him to me. Well, no reason. To let those guys just beat up on an innocent creature down there. Of course, poachers are doing the wrong thing anyway, so I'm gonna get myself involved pretty quick. I am, of course, the dueling champion of Hogwarts, so what do I have to fear? These are just grown people. Wait, actually, that was good damage. Hello? And that is why you don't poach. Lumos. Not on Michael Magus' watch. It doesn't look like those poachers were working alone, though. There's a fire on the other side of this rock. And, well, I guess they're here for very specific enemies. They're not just hunting in general. So, poacher tracker, as well as a poacher duelist. Some kind of wizard in the back, presumably. And another poacher tracker. Okay, this is actually turning into quite a few opponents here. So this could be fairly difficult. I have to go for this guy first. He's probably going to be the biggest threat. Uh, potentially smiting him right now might not be a bad idea. But let's hit him with a combo. Got it. Keep up the damage. Keep up the stupefies. Akio to pull him back in. Hit him with the fireball. Miss the fireball. Stupefy. Oh, one got through. Too much damage. Got him. Biggest threat is down. 
This should be easy. You levitate. You come here. I gotta break through that shield. There we go. Now with that gone, easy damage. Stupefy into his friend, pull him in. The combat in this in this game is definitely fun. It feels like you're almost playing like a side-scrolling fighting game where like I have my combos I'm trying to perform and it's just getting that combo off right, which is the satisfying part. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. It is shameful. I'm so glad you agree, Michael. Well, there is a fast travel point pretty close to where this quest is going to be. I want to say it was on the other side of this bridge, though. I thought it, I looked at the map and it had paths on the map, but I didn't want to right click on anything and get breadcrumbs. I mean, walking into the Forbidden Forest for the first time should feel suspenseful. Oh, let's go stealth again. There is another enemy on the other side of these rocks and there's a symbol here that i've never seen before it's a huge spider web and yep that's definitely a huge spider web oh there's actually someone trapped down here can i let them out oh i'm getting spotted uh, i'm going in for a fireball big damage to start things off i can stupefy that there was one behind me too i'm gonna lift him up into the air and finish off the first one Oh! oh, that scared me. What happened to the one in the back? He just disappeared. I hit him one time. There's no way that was enough damage. Uh, hey, bud. Can I let you out somehow? Or Oh, you let Nora Treadwell go, didn't you? You're about to wish you had an incendio. What did you say to me? I've oh, this actually your... looks so your sketchy. Stupid. Okay. Let's kill the up-close spider with a fireball. Easy does it. Lift this one up before it decides to advance. We're good. Pull it towards me. Send it back. And I couldn't keep it floating. I got the deflect on the side. I didn't see even see the enemy coming in. That felt like some spider sense shit right there. Oh, he's gone. Okay. I kind of burned everything to the ground, and it didn't seem to change anything on the map, so I'm guessing that's more of a permanent fixture. This place has been great for looting so far. Lumos. All kinds of different herbs and gems. Extreme danger, it says on the path to the north. From what? There's just squirrels. Accio. Wait, is it the squirrels? Lumos. No, bro, we're fine. Nothing to it. Nothing to even worry about a little bit. Except for, of course, this enemy on the mini-map that watched me do all of that. What's the story with this? A dark mongrel! How will I ever defend myself? Come here, mongrel. There you go. Give me that fur. I need that for my potion. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What in... No, okay. Okay. I don't know what that was, but I do know... I'm close to where I'm trying to go. Seems like there's more poachers nearby as well. But this flu flame is all I need. And now it's time for me get out of their forbidden forest. We're going to head back to Hogwarts, see if we can hit some classes and learn some new spells in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you again very soon.